And welcome back, ladies and gents, boys and girls, and others, invertebrates, vertebrates, and mollusks. So, where are we today? Well, I am very close to completing this model TARDIS. It's now a model rather than a toy, and I think it looks pretty decent, actually, when you consider that's what the toy sort of looked like. I mean, I have uh, started modifying this many years ago and sort of abandoned it, but there we go. I like the colour choice. And I do like the graphics. In fact, that's just a rough graphic in there at the minute. Kindly uh, rebuilt by a friend of mine called Jared over in Australia. And the same with this down here. I provided him with some graphics. And he did his uh, jiggery pokery, and that's what we have. In fact, speaking of the graphics, here is a little test sheet. Now, what I did was I took a photograph of the toy. And next to it, I had this colour chart. And this was before any of the, the proper weathering was put on there. And I said to him, could you please match this colour chart in Photoshop so you can get a true colour match to this? And then with that, using the graphics I've given you, just modify it. So here, these graphics here, they you can probably just about make it out, but they are all very slightly different. So what he's done is once he's colour graded this image to being a true representation of that, not on my printout by the way, but just in the computer, he then took various colour points and applied it to there. So then what I had to do was take this bit of paper and hold it up against this and see which one was the closest match. Now it's not going to match terribly well now because since I've done this, this has actually been weathered so there's black on it. Listen, another police car. Wouldn't be one of my videos without a police car going by. So anyway, I chose actually the control. I uh, didn't have a look at the next one down, which was slightly lighter, um, but that doesn't really matter. That that was sort of close enough. And I went for this one, so the colour mix or pick was taken from just up there. So that's what we ended up with. And actually, like I said, it's looking pretty good. I just have to properly stick it in there. That's just a, a rough in. Now, just as a point of interest, one of the things I never like about the toys is this graphic. It's completely wrong and it just it just makes it just makes the toy look well a bit weird. However, let me just take one of these roughs and see if I can place it in. There we go. In what a difference that makes. I mean obviously it's not accurate because it should span the entire uh, sign box, but just that on its own, and also this, yes, I know this is not correctly cut, this was just a quick rough cut, just to throw in, but even so, I think that looks a hell of a lot better, don't you think? Don't you agree? I do. Well, I would do. I can't disagree with myself. So to complete this model, all I've got to do is re-solder this back over to there, because when I went to paint it and I took the base off, I, I knew it was going to happen, but I, I ended up dislodging that, so I've just got to re-solder that. And then once that's done, take the doors, fill them in the hole here, and then screw the base on, and then put the bottom base back onto that. And that will be done. So soon I will be personally taking this to the person who has commissioned me to do this. So I'll be taking a little bit of a trip, and if you're lucky, you might be able to come along as well. We'll see about that. So this pretty much wraps up this section on that TARDIS model. It's been, uh, I don't want to say it's been a challenge, but it's, it's had a few little ups and downs. I initially thought this was going to be a very, very quick job, a couple of weeks at most, but as always, things crop up, things are beyond your control, and also I did order some electronics from China that I didn't realise it was coming from China at the time, so that kind of delayed a lot of, uh, a lot of progress. But overall, despite the fact that it took twice as long than I had planned, I'm really pleased with the overall finish, even though it's not finished yet, but I know what it's going to look like. And from what I understand, the client also absolutely loves this, so that's really pleasing to know. So, from the old workbench, for this project, that is the final update. Unless, of course, you do come along with me for the delivery, but that won't really be a, an update video, that'll be something else. But from the desk, that's it for now. That's the last time you'll see this police box model, this TARDIS model, up until the point I do the actual build video, but yeah, that will be the last update on this. Uh, 
I'll be sorry to see it go. Hey, back at the desk. Cheers. Oh, there's nothing in there. Oh well. Let's crack on with this. So we're at the desk and as usual that means it's channel update time. Big news everyone. Great news in fact. <gasps> 1,055 subscribers. I mean okay, the, the last video that I put up, which was this, pushed it into 1,000. In fact I missed it, it happened while I was in bed. And I've been a bit busy so I've not been able to come back and sort of do a, a video dedicated to it, but 1,055 subscribers. You don't know how happy that makes me feel. It kind of gives me a sense of vindication. And uh, I mean, with the big boys now, I'm not really. I'm still a microscopic channel, but brilliant. I mean, I started this channel two years ago on the 3rd of March 2017, and I posted the very first video, which was the Canine Restoration Project, on the 14th of March. And I had no subscribers back then, obviously. You can't just start a channel with subscribers unless you buy them, and I wouldn't know how to do that. And even if I did, I still wouldn't do it. But it's taken me two years to get to this point, and I have to say, I'm really, really, really pleased. And I, I'm over the moon with all of you who have subscribed, so I can't thank you enough. But thank you so much for subscribing. It really does please me. So, as my wife said, onwards and upwards. Until next time, I'm going to bid you farewell. Thank you so much for watching, thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment and hit that notification bell as well. That will let you know when I next upload. But until the next time, bye for now.